Hi, welcome back all you in Water Updates YouTube channel. We will discuss through this channel all about water, including water, wastewater, recent updates in wastewater industries, and available jobs in wastewater treatment industries. Today we are going to discuss here about how do waste water treatment plant work. There are three aspects we will learn through these topics. What is waste water? Where does it come? What happens to waste water? Before moving to the detailed treatment process, we must understand what is sewage or wastewater. It is nothing but wastewater from people living in a community. It is a water released from household after use for various purposes like washing dishes, laundry and flushing the toilets mainly. Mainly there are three steps in wastewater treatment process. That is primary treatment, secondary treatment and tertiary treatment process. Today we will learn in detail what is primary treatment, secondary treatment and tertiary treatment and how it is wastewater treating. Once reach the wastewater in the plant, the first stage is screening process. The incoming wastewater passes through screening equipment where objects such as uh, rags, wood fragments, plastics and grease are removed. The material removed is washed, pressed and disposed of in a landfill. The screened wastewater is then pumped to the next step is grit removal. This is compactor. After screening, the screened solid particles, heavy large particles compacted through this compactor and the compacted material using in a landfill purpose. This, in this compactor, you can see the inside there is a screw. This screw, screw conveyor is the main material is using for compacting purpose. This is grit removal. In this step, heavy but fine material such as sand and gravel is removed from the wastewater. This material is also disposed of in a landfill purpose. Before moving to the secondary treatment process, there will be a one more primary treatment process that is primary settling process. Here the physically treated water is coming to the, this primary settling tanks or also called dry fills. The settled material called primary sludge, it is pumped off the bottom and the waste water exits the tank from the top. Floating debris such as grease is skimmed off the top and sent with settled material to further process. In secondary treatment process, it is including that aeration tank and secondary clarifier or secondary settling settlement tank. In this 
this step, the wastewater receives most of its treatment through biological degradation. The pollutants are consumed by microorganism and transformed into cell tissue, water and nitrogen. The biological activity occurring in this tub is very similar to what occurs at the bottom of lakes and rivers, but in these areas the degradation takes years to accomplish. In this stage, various processes are using in various industries. That is conventional activated search process, moving but biofilling reactor process, MPBR, extended aeration process and IFOS. You can see the air pipe coming to the into the waste aeration tank through the bridge the bottom it's the diffuses by giving air or oxygen to the bacteria to be alive the bacteria the air is produced by various capacities of the air blowers Biological notification is mainly taking place in this aeration tank. The notification is the process of converting ammonia in wastewater to nitrate using aerobic autotrophic bacteria in the treatment process. Notification is actually a two step process for removing ammonia from wastewater using two different types of autotrophic bacteria that oxidates ammonia to nitrate and then oxidates nitrate to nitrate. Biological nitrification system are designed to completely convert all ammonia to nitrate. Once complete the treatment process in aeration tank, the effluent is going to secondary clarifier or secondary settling tank. In this settling tank, allow the treated waste water to separate from the activated sludge from the aeration tank at this step, building an effluent, which is now over 90 percentage treated. The activated sludge is continuously pumped from the bottom of the clarifier and returned to the aeration tank. The portion of the activated sludge or called as was based activated sludge is taken to sludge treatment process and the rest of the going to aeration tank as recycle activated sludge. The next step is tertiary treatment process. There are uh, two types of filtration units we are using various treatment plants that is called sand filtration unit gravity sand filtration and disk filters in sand filtration is a process in which the treatment of the water is realized by the porous nature of a sand layer which traps particles present in water in terms of disc filters, the clarified effluent is polished in this tub by filtering through 
10 micron polyester media. The material captured on the surface of the disc filters is periodically backwashed and returned to the head of the plant for treatment. The next step is disinfection process. Before going to be reuse treated sewage effluent, we must disinfect the TSC by chlorination. or ultraviolet UV disinfection process. To assure the treated waste water is virtually free of bacteria. In this process, kills remaining bacteria in the waste in the treated sewage water TSC to levels within our discharge permit and to be avoid other environmental issues and health problems. Hope you all got basic idea about how do waste water treatment plant work. If you like it, please subscribe, enable bell icon, like and share.